What's good, peeps? Thanks as always for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. All right, before we start with the video, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you and a big shout out to Ian Clark. He done the new intro for the channel, which I absolutely fucking love. Um, I didn't even ask for it, by the way. He randomly sent me an email, I think about two, three weeks ago, um, with some new intro ideas and all of a sudden he then done this one and I picked it straight away and I love it. He done it for free. So I can't thank him enough. So thank you, Ian Clark, so much. All right, let's um, let's talk about AJ again for a couple of minutes. I've calmed down now. I wish I'd done the video now rather than the emotional video I'd done an hour ago or so, but I've calmed down. Um, you get a chance to breathe, which I've done, and then you get a chance to think it's not the end of the world, right? I mean, we do move on, and so should Anthony Joshua. Um, so this video is about what next and what went wrong. What next is possibly a rematch, right? Obviously, there will be a rematch clause put into the contract. Uh, it will happen in the UK. It will happen at London, maybe the O2 Arena, maybe Wembley Stadium. We'll have to find out. Um, we're hearing that the rematch is probably going to happen November or December. So that's what's next. What went wrong? Um, I don't know. I, I actually don't know. I don't want to talk about what went wrong for AJ um, rather than let's give some credit to Andy Ruiz Jr. He, he looked good, right? He looked good. He got up off the canvas and um, dusted himself off and he put in a very good performance, especially when you consider that he only had five weeks to prepare for Anthony Joshua coming off a fight against Dimitrenko. So, I mean, let's give Andy Ruiz a lot of credit for that performance. A lot of people, including myself, are going to attack AJ and it's all about AJ, 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 rather than saying, wait a minute. I mean, Andy Ruiz is no bum. I mean, he's a good boxer. People were saying in the build-up to the fact that he's a good boxer. Yes, did we expect him to win? Absolutely not, right? Only, I think, a handful of people did pick him, um, but I think the majority of people, like 98% of people, picked AJ to win. So we've got to give credit to Andrew Ruiz Jr. Um, I think he looked good in there. I think he looked very, very good in there. He mixed up so well. His double jab to the head and body was great. His hooks were great. He was walking AJ down. So he done a lot of good things in there. Um, AJ just didn't look great. Right. There's, we, we can't hide from the fact that AJ didn't look great at all. I'm not one for saying like you should split up the whole team when someone loses, but you do need to look at it. And sometimes you have to take something from defeats. And this is one thing that AJ can take from a defeat is that you look at your whole camp, you look at your whole setup. Everything has to be looked at um, and then he'll come again. He will come again. AJ, I think, is very mentally strong. I mean, a lot of people... Um, as soon as they lose, you don't hear from them. He stayed in the ring. He done his post-fight interviews. He congratulated Andy Ruiz. So he's doing all the right things. Um, but mentally, inside, this is going to be killing him. It's going to be killing him. He knows how big this was. First fight in America. Um, it's a big stage, right? It's a huge stage. Anthony Joshua is a product himself. He's a business himself. And this does affect his business. He's all about his money, people. He might not show off. He might not be Mr. Bling Bling. But he's all about his money and this does affect that. But he does get the chance to, I guess, right the wrong. And that's the beautiful thing about boxing. You do get a chance to come again. He's still young. He's still fresh. It wasn't a devastating knockout, right? One that really just decapitates him. It was more of a case of, I don't know, just, just A ran out of gas. I'm going to say it again. B, I think he quit. I really do think he quit in that corner. And C, he just didn't look himself, did he? He didn't, even from when he was coming out, he didn't look himself. I mean, I've said a couple of videos now, of people showing him in the corner as they're announcing his name to start the fight. And he just didn't look his comfortable self. Maybe it's because he's in new surroundings. I don't know. We don't know what goes on um, in boxers' life before they come out for the fight. We don't know if anything happened in there in the lead up and the build up to the fight. We don't know, right? But he didn't look himself. I'm going to quote a famous marvellous Marvin Hagler saying, he says, it's difficult to get up and do your road work when you sleep in silk sheets. It's a fantastic saying. And that basically could be it. When you're a multi, multi, multi-millionaire, which AJ is, I don't know what AJ's worth, but it must be touching 60, 70 million. Um, it must be difficult to kind of motivate yourself to do the things you know you need to do, right? If any part of AJ underestimated Andy Ruiz Jr., and I think he probably did. He was talking a lot about Yep, we're going to get the Fury fight after. Yep, we should have sit-downs with Wilder. And I'm there thinking, you've got Ruiz Jr. So maybe he wasn't as motivated. Maybe like we did, he underestimated Andy Ruiz Jr. a little bit going into it. Um, but regardless, 
there's a lot that needs to be improved with Anthony Joshua. There really is. And now the Sharks will be fucking circling, right? If there was any fear factor for any boxer, and there really isn't in the top 10, top 15, but if there was any little fear factor, it goes out the window. Kind of similar with what happened with Mike Tyson and Buster Douglas. It's almost like, okay, okay, cool. We all know that AJ has this, I'm not going to say has a chin issue. I mean, he gets hit by heavyweight, it will go down, right? Um, but now it's like, okay, I see. So I can do this, I, I can do that. You don't know how to defend that. And some of the boxers will look at that and think, got a chance. This is why, by the way, and a lot of people have always laughed at me when I said, I think Lewis Ortiz beats Anthony Joshua. I've said this. You guys know this, I've said this for years, or at least two or three years, that Luis Ortiz will beat Anthony Joshua. I think you can see why now. A good boxer will beat AJ. A very good boxer. Um, Klitschko had the chance, and Klitschko let him off the hook, but a very good boxer would beat him. So, um, I don't know. There are a lot of things to change. Um, again, you, you might have to look at Rob McCracken. I, I know it's bad. You lose together, you win together, I get all that, but you might have to look at Rob McCracken. You might have to trim a bit of the fat off. I mean, AJ fucking goes jogging with about 20 people. You've all seen it. So just, um, I don't know, it's time to reassess. Um, it is a big loss, but I mean, look, all the heavyweights lose. I mean, all the best heavyweights have lost and they've all come back. That's the thing. You've got to come back. Can Anthony Joshua come back? Does he have the same mindset and mind frame of the guys that have lost? The, the Evander Holyfields, the Lennox Lewis's, the Mike Tyson's. I don't know. We'll, we'll soon find out, right? We'll soon find out. Um, the, the problem is for me and I said this um, in the video I did this wasn't like a one punch KO it wasn't like Andy Ruiz just got lucky and kind of closed his eyes and swung a right hand this is a guy that knew what he was doing this is a guy that was setting up his punches this is a guy that looked fucking f his hand I admit that they were faster than I expected and I think his power was surprised AJ I mean that punch yes kind of messed up his equilibrium but this wasn't like this wasn't a, a lucky win. That's what I'm trying to say. This was well deserved. This was well bloody deserved. And I mean, I mean, pressure's on. If AJ thought there was pressure going into this fight, I mean, going to his next fight, he loses back-to-backs with Andrew Ruiz. That's it. It's David Price territory. I mean, I don't mean as in AJ can't come again, but I'm saying like mentally you're fucked, right? You're mentally, it's like I can't get over this hump and it's a big hump to get over. Um, Don't know. Don't know. I do feel sad for him. Obviously, I'm an AJ fan. Um, I don't feel sad for Eddie Hearn at all. That's his cash cow. I don't feel sad for him at all. Uh, not at all, right? He had the chance to make these big fights. He did. He, made, he had a chance to make all of these big fights. And he didn't. In fact, there was a video I did yesterday. I might put it up. Might as well. Talking about the Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder situation. And I actually blamed Eddie Hearn for it. And I wasn't going to put it up because of what's happened. Because it doesn't kind of make sense now. But fuck it. Still going to put it up. But guys, what do you think? Um, are you still in shock? I'm, I'm not as in shock as I was. I watched it back again now a couple of times. I watched some highlights and um, shit happens, right? Shit happens. And credit to Tyson Fury as well. I was waiting for Tyson Fury to say something, but um, he hasn't. He hasn't kicked AJ when he's down. He said um, some quite nice words, in fact, like, you know, come back and all that kind of stuff. And Deontay Ward has gone in. That's expected. <laughs> Deontay Ward has gone in. Um, I think Deontay Ward has gone in because Deontay Ward has just lost 60 to 70 million dollars. That's why he's gone in. Um, but yeah, this is boxing and shit happens. Peace.